Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to everyone, all of my viewers, subscribers, um, everyone that's following Cooking with Vishen and Lini. Today we're going to make some Guyanese black cake, rum cake, wedding cake, whatever you guys call it, Jamaican rum cake. So multi-purpose, multi-purpose multi yeah. cake. Christmas cake. So we're gonna put these four sticks of butter in there. Guys, um, our butter and eggs has been towing out for um, a couple hours to make it easier for bacon. A few hours, right? Mm -hmm. um, and one pound of sugar. Guys, this is a very easy and simple recipe and black cake is very very easy to make and a lot of people think it's really tough really hard to make and a lot of people are lazy to do it um, I think you guys should get out there help your girlfriend your wife whoever it is making that black cake I have some good friends that make really really nice black cake So we're creaming the butter and the sugar, brown sugar is what we're using. <clears throat> yeah, this blender makes things easier, huh? Yeah, you just gotta help it along the way. Yeah. I'll try to take out from the corner and put it in the center, whatever you can. You have to mix it up and melt in. All right, guys, so we got some organic eggs going here. Um, we're going to be beating it up in here to make our black cake. Um, and if you watched our fruitcake video yesterday, I talked about taking out the eyes of the egg. See this little thing here? If I could get it out. This thing makes the egg rank. And, have, and baking cake with 12 or 10 eggs or how many um, eggs you're using, you know, obviously the cake is gonna taste some type of way, so you have to take the eyes of the eggs out. Okie dokie. And our egg was outside for a few hours, right? Yep, we Thawing have out. been toying it out. The egg and the butter? Yep. The eyes is very hard to come out. Mm -hmm. it's You're almost done here. Yep. Oh, I must go back. Some big eye in here. <laughs> A big egg eye. 
I know, right? See, look. <laughs> big eye. It's a big eye in here, look. I'll show it to you. I'm trying to get it out. Did it come out? Oh, it, it, it yeah, fell. It out. Yeah. But it's a big eye. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, get some, some more eggs in there. Hope you guys are enjoying this festive season. Having fun. Parties. Are you having fun? Yeah, I am having fun. Time of your life? Yep. Cheers. Hi. Cheers, ladies and Okay guys, so because we talked about eggs being really rank, we're gonna put some zest, some lemon zest in there. Take off the rankness. Then you will fall. Yeah, you don't want it to be rank. Right? Yeah guys, I was making black cake and since I was very small with my parents and growing up every holiday, every Christmas, uh, we do it from months before and then a week later on Christmas. Alright, we're not going to use the handheld thingy so we'll just beat it up with some fork the old time way. Just quickly beat it up. You sure you don't want to use the hand no, thing? I'm fine with this. I'm okay. old fashioned, so. Oh. Mm -hmm. You're old fashioned? Yep. So. I'm sure you guys can identify with me about being old fashioned. Yep. Alright, so this is beaded up. And I can smell the lemon in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want the rank taste in there, you know? No. Nope. Yeah. So we're going to be adding the eggs to this batter, to this um, sugar and butter that's been creaming. So we're going to go ahead and gradually add all these, all the eggs in here. So yeah. lift it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on. Yep, there you go. Put some of that in there. We got to help this along all right so we'll add some eggs there go two Yeah guys, so we're making, this is our black cake, we're making rum cake, wedding cake, holiday cake. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, so you don't want to throw in, burst one, one at an egg and put it in there. You want to beat up your egg outside first and then put it in gradually in here. Right. Want to put in some more? Yeah. KitchenAid mixer makes everything easy. You want to do it so fast or like one? Um, but that's just. Uh, you want to put it in yeah, some more? Some more. Yeah. Let it whisk away. We're using, we're using um, this butter, 
Good for bacon. As you can see, it says good for bacon. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we will do one more batch after this. Okay. So what are we going to do next? Hey right, guys, we're going to put some essence in here. You got to shake it up for it to fall. Okay. Can you show me? I think that should be good. I'm already using mixed essence. We didn't find an iry brand. And here we have some fruits that we're gonna put it in here. How long you soak these fruits? And these fruits were soaked for four years. I had eight eight of these bottles. So I left two left with two of them. So this year I'm gonna start to soak it back for next year. We have prunes, raisins, um, what else we bought to put in? Cherries. Cherries. There, I think there are six different fruits in here that I soaked up with okay. um, with rum and wine. and wine in here. And it smells amazing. The way I soak mine's up, I have to grind it now. Okay. Yeah. So it's not grind up. Uh, I'll go and grind, blend it up. I, I, a lot of people like to blend their up very, very fine. I won't do that with this one here. I like to taste my fruit in my black cake, rum cake, um, and add a lot more liquor into it and wine into it. So we got some fruits in here. So I think I should put in more. camera closer so you can see it. I think these are the prunes there. All the good stuff in here. Look at that. Cherries, right. prunes, raisins, yeah. currants. Yeah, currants is in there too. Okay. You want me to put some of these in there? Yep, some orange peel. Do we have any nuts to put in? Yep, we have, have nuts, nuts over there, there yeah. The nuts is already right now, right? Yeah, it's, you can just blend it up one more time. Okay. So, okay, this is a high power blender, food processor. Um, I usually use this to make coconut choco. See the 
just sort of write them out that you like. Oh, uh, can you see? Let me show that the camera. Come see. I think that's good there. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Or you want it a little bit more blend up? No, we don't want it to um, finely okay. chop. I mean, okay. it's, it's perfect the way it that's is. Good there. Yep. Empty it out in a bowl. All right. Alright, so we're going to mix our dry ingredients now. So I have two cups of flour. Um, we have some freshly grated nutmeg. So, nutmeg. We have some um, <laughs> <laughs> we have some cinnamon. All right, so we're going to add some baking powder. And we're just going to mix that in. And this mixture smells really good. So that's that. All right, so that's been whisking away. So now we're going to add our fruits. I hope I don't. We're gonna add our There's fruit. There's some on the outside to the back here. Yeah, okay. I can see over here. Mm -hmm. It's good. Oh, it's good. I need a third eye. Okay, so that's good. So we're gonna whisk that away. Mix the fruit in. So we already have all our dry ingredients here in, mm -hmm. mixed up in here. Yeah. This smells so good. Give me that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Set let's sc scoop this, this a little. Out. Oh, this does smell so good. You want me to come mix it up? Yeah, if you want. Okay. You want here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll take this from you.
take this up uh, before it keep on leaking up. So we're gonna fold the flour down, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna add our flour, which which um, was mixed baking powder and cinnamon. You can put um, all spice, um, clove powder, nutmeg, whatever spice you want to put. So that's all mixed in. Starting to take shape. Mm -hmm. It smells really good. You smell it? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. So I think we fold this up pretty good in there. Mm-hmm. Um, it's uh, a measuring cup. You can do a half a cup for us. See if yeah. we like the color. Because mm -hmm. um, with black cake, uh, when you cook it, when you bake it, it gets black anyway. So you got to be careful with the amount of Barn sugar that you put in to the mixture. Fish, I like his cake black, black, so yeah, like mine's really black. So, add in as much to you know, um, to your desired color. look, whatever, whatever, however you dog you want it. And we wow. used the one from the store. Yep, Guyanese Pride. We didn't make ours this year. There's some on the side of the basin. Of, yep. Mm -hmm. I think I'll just use all that in there. Mm -hmm. And we're going to set the oven to 375 right now. And we should put it at 350. 350? Yeah. Okay. I think I'll add some more flour in this here and fold it up pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Well, this got a, um, a tip on it so it won't stand. Yeah. But it's kind of pretty form there. I'll just add a little bit. You can add as you need it. I think that's good there. I think so. Let's try it out and see.
and this will get black a, a darker when you when you bake in it right of course yeah. that is why it's always um good to make sure you're putting in the right like, amount of burnt sugar yeah and we did not grind ours up into liquid the fruits so they're kind of uh as you can see there some little whole yeah. pieces so when you cut it it will be like not like a fruit cake but it will have that little texture there I think we're ready to put this in the oven and it'll be back all right so we just went ahead and add a couple pieces of um chop walnuts to get it that added effect yep so i'm gonna mix that in there you want to put in some more some more walnuts yeah okay guys um i know a lot of people don't put in walnut but i do um also walnut was part of the blended fruit so yeah. but this is just some fresh ones mm -hmm. Anyways, this batter is freaking amazing. It 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 tastes so good. Mm -hmm. I I imagine when it's done cooking, how good it'll taste. Yeah. We're waiting for our oven to be heated up. Um, it's two thirty. So um. Do you want to show them mm -hmm. the water that we put yep. into steam? Yep, open it. So we have some water in there. Um, that's going to make sure our black cake is steamed and it doesn't dry out with the bacon. That's going to keep it nice and moist. So I'm sure a lot of you do this and that's the way to do it. So we still got some ways to go. Yeah, it's 2.38. Mm-hmm. All right, so we have one square one here at the black cake, rum cake, Jamaican, Caribbean cake, and a white one there, and we got a pan of water at the bottom there. So uh, the oven is at 350 right now, and we'll bake this for an hour and be back.